What's up guys? I'm Brad with Spike Fitness. Today is, uh, well, August 12th, I think. No, 13th. Um, it's a Saturday and uh, I'm in the garage to do some training. So today would normally be um, a heavier deadlift day and, and I'm going to do that. But uh, on the front end of this, before I get going into the workout, I, I want to talk about um, you know, mental health, I want to talk about, um, you know, being able to stick to program and things like that and staying consistent, right? So to really sum it up, lately, I have not been doing well. Um, I've not been great in terms of uh, mental health, and I really have not been great in terms of my consistency. My emotional, uh, mental kind of status has affected my desire to want to train, and so in many cases, I've simply just skipped training because I didn't feel like training. I have tried to stay as consistent as I can. So uh, over the last, let's say, let's say five or six weeks, over the last five or six weeks, when I should be hitting uh, six solid training days per week, average maybe two or three. So still getting in, still getting something done, but falling way short of what the plan is, and moreover, falling way off the program, right? So I had taken a, uh, I had taken a program and plotted it out on a, onto a calendar, and it, it dictates what I do when I do it. And I, I kind of like that methodology because it, um, it allows me to have kind of a well thought out, well laid out plan. So the construction of it was articulate, and then the, you know, the execution is where I fell short. But I fell so short, it's I can't really just pick back up and just start over again, right? It's not how this particular kind of program was written or how things are done for me. So what I want to say on this is uh, I recognize that you know where I'm at. I recognize the difficulties that I'm facing and you know these challenges that I'm experiencing, and I recognize that I'm not the only person that would be going through stuff like this, whether like right now uh, or at some point in time you will too right and so um, the thing that i'm trying to advocate on the front end of this the thing that i'm trying to demonstrate is that even though in terms of how i feel and, and my desire to train i've been essentially at rock bottom uh, i'm still trying and i hope that you guys will too i hope that even if you are not hitting it the way that you planned or the way that you would like to that you can at least take some some um, pleasure, some solitude, some pride out of continuing to try. You know, force yourself out and go do a walk or go do something, right? Some, some amount of movement, even if it's not what you wrote down on the paper because that's kind of where I've been. I've not done what I wrote down on the paper for some time now. And I think as a result, I'm gonna have to kind of rehaul and rework my program which is fine, I can do that. I wrote it in the first place, it's not that much work for me to do it again. Kind of same thing for you guys, right? Like, know that it's okay if you need to take a reset, um, if you take a couple of weeks off, or you know, whatever, whatever you're going through, whatever you have to do to feel better, you know, do that. Um, but you know, obviously the physical fitness component of things is huge, and maintaining physical fitness is really important for uh, health, mental health, longevity, um, you know, all that stuff. So it's, it's not something that I feel that I can just walk away from and, and never, um, never participate in it again. I have to come back around to it, but I haven't been, I haven't been mentally, um, sound enough. I haven't been excited or energetic about the gym in some time. And so it's been very difficult to force me into it and get me to do it. I'm trying to fix that. And I want you guys to know that I want you guys to see that and hearing me talk about it. And, and you know, it's probably not gonna be perfect um, in the next week or maybe even two or whatever, but I'm gonna continue to try. I'm gonna continue to uh, make the effort where I can and as best as I can. And if I have to pull up um, and not do what I wrote on the program, um, just to convince myself to get in and, and like walk on, walk on the treadmill or something like that, then, you know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do whatever I can just to get some measure of movement in there. So um, I wanted to say that on the front end of this because I, I know that there may be some of you kind of going through the same type of thing as I'm feeling right now. And it sucks and I hate it. And I wish there was something that I could do about it. 
Um, but maybe me talking about it will help any one of you even just a little bit, and then I guess then it's worth it. So, um, so yeah, so this is me trying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna do some more cleaning up of the garage because I got some stuff laying around that shouldn't be. And then um, I'm gonna try to open up with a, a, a jog. Gonna go at a nice easy pace today and not, not try to push the envelope. Um, and then uh, we're gonna move into a deadlift. I'm thinking a, um, I'm thinking maybe like a heavier sumo and we'll see how that feels, I don't know. I'm not sure, I say that and like, there's something that doesn't like, doesn't really sound great to me. But uh, um, first and foremost, just gotta get moving. So first things get started and then we'll see where we, get, we end up. All right, hopefully you guys will stick around and check this one out. Here we go. guys try to wrap this up here pretty quick um, since the beginning was a little bit longer um, just wanted to have a quick talk about you know mental health and making adjustments right that's really the thing that I, I want to I want you guys to take away from this is even when you're in the midst of stuff trying to make whatever adjustment you can to keep whatever level of um, continuity and, and consistency that you can uh, it hasn't been the best training period of my life, but I haven't given up entirely. And so that's kind of what I'm asking you to do too, is don't give up entirely. Um, do what you can. Uh, today was good. Did sled drag with about uh, 235 pounds. Did the uh, uh, isolateral leg extension or leg curl uh, with 90, no, I'm sorry, with 100 pounds. Um, and then the isolateral leg extension with 100 pounds. And then we were doing a pull down with, you know, what amounts to 115 pounds, something like that. Not too bad. Um, nice little pump, felt pretty good. Moved into the main movement, which I ended up sticking with the sumo stuff. Um, just went for a, a one rep on the sumo, knowing full well that my mechanics are, are trash which is the reason to kind of work on it and have have some experience with it try to play with it a little bit and work on that so um you know it's something that i have in my rotation um to do work on got up to 635 with uh with that and that felt all right um you know i know that i'm stronger than that but the mechanics is a huge limiting factor uh so in order for me to get better at that i'll have to continue to work on it 
um, and so it'll stay in the rotation. That's the reason to do that, is to kind of try to build up that, uh, that mechanical issue. Um, yeah, if you guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it in the chat box below, I will respond. I want to thank you guys for the continued support on the channel, making it bigger today than it's ever been before. Thank you very much. If you've seen a couple of videos and haven't subbed, I wish that you would. And moreover, if you happen to know other folks who might like the channel, please share it with them. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Um, there's going to be some links in the description box, different ways that you can help support the channel. Titan affiliate link if you're in the market for some gear. Buying from that helps you get what you're looking for. It helps me. My Amazon affiliate link, again, um, an Amazon uh, store page. So using that link to make purchases off of Amazon helps me, helps you. And then lastly is the Train Display merch where you can get designs like that guy on t-shirts and such. Uh, so if you want to help support the brand, I definitely appreciate that. Um, and that's it, guys. Just want to say thanks. Appreciate it. I'm going to try to stay uh, more consistent going forward and, and try to create a little bit more positive momentum, as I've said, you know, in lots of times in the past. Um, but I'm just going to kind of keep my, keep my eye fixated on the overall goal and just do as best as I can. But hopefully I can start to turn things around and be a little bit more consistent. That'd be great. Um, I'm also going to try to do a little bit more consistent uh, video work on YouTube. So be a little bit more consistent with my uploads as well. Uh, but we'll see. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like train even when you really don't feel like it, it's never going to happen if you don't get in and make some small adjustments and train to spite. You're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find a way. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.